Hi there, folks, and welcome to another episode of Michael in the Backyard. We're going to do a little fab work here today, this evening, tomorrow evening, until I get it done. What I've got here, this is a rack that is used for putting panels in. You know, that's this original purchase is to put panels of sheets of wood or, you know, for storage. And it's probably what I should use it for, but I don't have a, I don't usually have a lot of sheets of stuff laying around. But what I do have is way too many out drives. And I need to find a better way to store my out drives because I have a rack that I built out of wood that is sturdy, but it only holds five. And it takes up, you know, a little more space than it maybe should to hold five, right? Is that how many it holds? Count confirmed, five. What it does is this holds five in a row this way. Well, I think, I think, I think, I think. I can hold more with this seam, this square footage of area. My thoughts are to take this piece of plywood out, cut these three off, make them the same height as these two, and that way I'll have them all the same height. And then I could cut, man, I could almost fit way more than that in here. Do I dare cut this down? Dun, dun, dun. Boy, part of me says I could cut this down to yay wide, maybe. Bringing you, bringing you guys along for the, let's just call it the, the, the thought process that go, where are my tape measures? There's one. I keep about 10 of them around just so I can find one. All right. Because right now, last time on that other one, I cut them tapered. And there's no reason to cut them tapered. Just a nice square that comes clear out to here would be fine. And, you know, they would be fully supported, for instance, all the way out. Now, the problem is the prop, if I have it... Da, da, da. Yeah, if I have it like this, the prop can still slide all the way in here on a deeper one, just like it would on this one down here. So this one here I have cut in 18 inches deep. Uh-huh, I do. Just curious. Bear with me. This would be a pretty good sized prop that would normally be on here. Can I get it on here? What just fell? Oh, there's more stuff in there. Just curious. So that would fit in between that, no problem. That gappage, yep. And if I just cut it square, and the re reason I say cut a, cut it square is cut a, a rectangle. I don't need this tapered fit like I did on the other one. I thought I was doing something really cool. I wasn't. Right now this sits right here just like this. And this is only 13 inches deep. And this is like a workbench piece just like that one is over there. But I have I have this one off the green boat. I have that's the old one off my StarCraft. I have one on the floor over here that's off the rinker. Yep. And I've got one out there on top of a stack of tires for uh, uh, off the AeroCraft. So I got four of them that I could put on a stand like this right now just to keep them out of my way. And then I just have one on a stand that I'm you know working on well these two that one i'm not working on that one's in okie dokie shape came off my starcraft only thing it's got going on is uh it the oil turns a little dark a little quick but it functions just fine i put hundreds of miles on it with it doing that it's not really causing me any problems but let's see here so if i did that all i need is 20 inches maximum would be more than enough Okay, let's go back over here to my thinking spot. So if I'm saying that's 20 inches maximum I need from nose to nose, that'd be 40 inches. So I'd, I'd actually reduce this. So if this was 20, 
you know, I think I'm gonna leave it the same length. I'm not gonna waste the time. This is 48. That's only eight inches wider here than it would need to be. They could come in here, come in here this way, and then I'd have a flat spot in the middle that I could put other stuff. Not to mention, if I leave eight inches in the board, when I cut this U-shape in it, um, that might actually give us some support. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run some screws through the wood into the steel. That way it's bolted and it'll give that wood some stability this way as well. Yes siree, that's what we're gonna do. First things first, I gotta get this piece of wood out of here. It looks like just a wood screw down into the... Yeah. I don't know if it's fastened on any other way. But we'll back the wood screws out first, there's four of them. The nice thing is I'll be able to repurpose everything here. I'm going to repurpose the wood and reuse these three tubes and whatever I cut off of here, guarantee I'll be able to use that tubing for something else. Wow, how thick is that? You know what? <laughs> I think this whole project may have just got magically delicious. The reason I say that, you guys are going to see this in a minute. I did not realize this. <laughs> but there are, count them, two sheets of plywood here. Well, the wonderful thing about this <laughs> is we're going to pull this out for the cutting and welding portion of this program. But the other cool part is I'll have a shelf on the bottom. I was, I was thinking this was going to be a situation where I was able to put the bottom one up here and have the, the, have the whole bottom wide open, but... There'll be some spaces to put some other knickknacks. Awesome. Well, that was a, not what I was expecting. Bonus. You know, this thing cut through way more stuff than it should be able to is with that old blade. But you can see here, I'm just cutting like the worst cut you can do is with between the weld and the parent metal. Because that's going to have some hard crystalline zones possibly, depending on the weld. Uh, but yeah, this uh, leaves me a little, just a little grain in to do here to get this back to flush. And then we'll cut these off and we'll be ready to weld them back on. I think we're done with the welder for a minute. Ding! Now we're getting to the fun part of this project. All right, I'm, who am I kidding? It's all fun. The whole creation process is fun. Now we can go ahead and put this piece of plywood back under here for our bottom shelf.
little bit of weld holding it up, but nothing that it won't snap past. <laughs> okay, bigger hammer. Maybe this hammer will work. Ouch! What? You guys don't have a hammer? A, a, your throwing tomahawk? That doubles as a hammer? Maybe you should get one. Why is it just laying around? Because eh, I haven't hung it up anywhere yet. Alrighty, I love it. Now, now. Man, this is some really nice plywood they use for this. See, now you see what I can do here? Ba bam! We're gonna just figure, situate this thing right on here. Now keep in mind, this was one inch inside everywhere. So to center it up, we gotta be about, yep, mm -hmm, right around, mm -hmm, in this area. This is gonna be sturdy. And it ain't gotta be perfect. There we go, somewhere in that range. Now, do I have any long sheet metal tapping screws? Dun, dun, dun. Well, I have three. That's enough to get us started. Project can keep moving. So I'm gonna put one in each corner. Minus one corner. Dang it. But uh, yeah, I think that'll work because that'll go through, bite into that tube really well and not stick through the other side and you know, wholesome goodness there. Some eyeballage about right there. get away with two of them with one clamp I don't know let's see About time for a new drill chuck. This drill's got some age on it too. Now I'm gonna go ahead and countersink it a little bit so the top of these heads would be below the surface. It would be ideal for me. That way when I'm sliding the old uh, out drives in and out, I don't mark them all up. Oh, can't let it get too grabby on me though like that. See if it works. Real nice, real nice. There we go. I'll take this one with me to get some new ones to match it. Glad I had at least those two. I'm ready to bring this down to floor level, I guess, because I don't want to be bent over. I think I can get it off of here the same way I got it up here with leverage and roller ridge. Oh. There we go. That got real fast, real quick. There we go. Now we can see 
Now we can see what we're doing. Alrighty, we've got it this far. I've got to pick me up some more self tappers so I can put one on every post here. I'm probably gonna put one down here too on every post just to stabilize this piece of wood because the only thing that's been holding this wood together once I cut this U shape out is this piece here and the screws. And they help kind of stabilize it. Then when I slide those in here to kind of, when I push some weight on there, you know, they can't go one way or the other very easily. It'll work, it'll work out all right. I think so, I based it off of, I'm just cutting a slot like I got in here. I just got the angle iron in here and that's about two and a half inches wide in between here and here, which will let that slide right on through and support it like that. Uh, this will be able to hold eight of them, which is fine. I have five over there, so it holds three more. And I've got one, oh, two. Possibly three in the future when I if I work on that red boat to put on here, so that'll be fine. It won't won't be a problem at all. So now we'll get the circular saw busy uh, cutting this out. Then we'll cut across. And uh, matter of fact, I actually might just drill. That would be nice to do, wouldn't it? Take me a hole saw, and we'll radius these corners with a hole saw. That way I can drill into it. That's what I'm going to do. That'll work. Let's find a whole saw that I like. Since these are two and a half inch wide, sure would be nice to have a two and a half inch hole saw. Size, oh, bango, bango, bango. I actually have one. Sweet. I just made life a little more difficult and easier at the same time. The big question is, will my drill be up to the task? <laughs> Had that I had that in there real tight in there real tight yep helps if you get off that radius all right let's set this aside for a minute I just happen to have one here let's see if it fits Oh, the prop ain't gonna fit through there. That's for dang sure. That's okay, I can take all the props off. But yeah, that'll slide right in there. When I'm storing them, I won't know what prop I want on them, so that'll work. Now we got a corner rounding bed in here with the uh, guide, ball bearing guide on it, so should do a pretty good job for us here. Let's just see what it'll do. Either will or it won't. That's almost professional. Just stop it now. I'm not gonna know what to do with myself. Cool. Well, let's get the rest of them done. The project ain't gonna finish itself.
well there it is in all its glory i'll tell you what putting those screws here and putting you know this thing is sturdy on either side here this thing doesn't do any kind of twisting or anything maybe over time you know the weight on it might cause it to sag a little bit but who cares this is what it's designed to hold but uh i thought about let me let me share some thoughts with you let me just let me dump on you for just a minute here now a few of you is out there is gonna say you're crazy you're just plain crazy dude but i thought about taking the other five i've got on a stand back there and putting it here and getting away of that getting rid of that stand but that stand works just fine and there's room for five more what's to stop me for going and getting five more boats and filling this thing up nothing <laughs> absolutely nothing i won't say it too loud though my wife might hear me she's out in the deck sometimes she peeks in on me to see if i'm okay but she hears me talking crazy she might put a stop to it all probably not <laughs> but yeah i just got to thinking running through my head yeah this takes up more floor space i'm gonna shove it back here in the corner and uh make it more accessible so when if i want to put another one on it i can uh this one i over here i didn't put back on it because once i get that back together it's going back on the green boat and uh yeah and this one's gonna go this one's on i was off the starcraft this one is gonna use i'm gonna use it re go through it make sure it's okay and put it back this came off the rinker so this is the one that came off the six cylinder that's going back in the boat in the big blue in big blue so we're gonna we know that the big blue engine has low hours i'm pretty confident it has a lot of low hours on it it's too clean too nice and so i'm expecting this to be the same way i haven't done any service work on this thing but eventually it's going to be coming off of here and up onto my stand we're going to drain it we're going to replace all the seals up here uh check the prop behind the prop make sure everything's clean we'll put new cv joints in it u joints basically for the cv joint here and uh Make it so, here again, for Big Blue, I'm trying to get everything back up to. And if you're not, you don't know what I'm talking about, Big Blue, then you haven't been following me on the other channel, RMD Creations. This channel is RMD, RM3D Creations. The other channel is just RMD Creations. Just a variation of the creation. So anyway, that's, I thought about filling this thing up. Part of me wants to, and part of me says, No. Don't get rid of the other one. You got room for five more. And I got to thinking, that's brilliant. Borderline genius. Now, as you guys have followed my videos, and usually my wife doesn't watch the videos this far into it, so I'm going to try to get away with saying this and see if she catches it. But even if it's not true, but just for fun, and I know you guys out there want to get after, you know, get pick on your partner a little bit in life and so if you guys leave comments she's not there is she i can't it's dark she could be stealthy but if you leave comments and going well that idea is just pure genius or genius i mentioned genius in any way it drives her batty it's it's fun it's good humor it's good humor i know there's one guy out there and he knows who he is uh that no matter what I put out there, he just puts a comment genius or pure genius or that was a genius idea. It may not be a genius idea. It may be what a, a hundred other hacks have done, but he does it for one reason, one reason only, because he knows my wife will see the comments and go and just shake her head. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fun. All right. I think we're going to pull us a few more outboards out in the forefront here, sneak this thing back in there. And clear up my floor space here because I got a couple more welding jobs to do. I've got some angle iron over here. I got some more welding jobs to do on this brand new weldy table. And uh, then I can get back to. Uh, well, this channel isn't about boat stuff. But this is about boat stuff. So I don't know. I didn't know which channel to put it on. But since it's a crafty item, a, a tool that I'll use out here, a storage or something, we'll just put it on here. And other good news, I have two tires that showed up. So I'll be mounting tires with the tire mounter thingy over here. Uh, we will got a, I picked up a, so, so some other things that's going to be coming up in the future on this channel. I've got, I picked up a DeWalt um, planer and it's an older one. 
heavy duty. But it's just like a 12 and a half inch planer. My wife said, hey, it'd be neat to have a planer. I'm like, I'm not, not denying it. Uh, my sister-in-law had one of hers got broke twice. I've had some videos on the other channel about the, it's a Wynn, W-E-N brand. And I repaired it, bought parts for it and repaired it and returned it to her. Uh, Cause she does some woodworking stuff and that's one of the things she enjoys. And so I got one of those. So when I got some of this wood I'm scrounging around, if I want to make a pretty piece, I can just zippity do die that through there. Uh, well, I think I'm going to call it a wrap for this video. I appreciate you guys following along. I love the comments. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, do all that. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, do so. It doesn't cost you a dime. If there's links below in the description, follow those links. It'll take you to where the, some of the items I've used in the videos takes you to that. And then if you buy it, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the affiliate program, but Amazon has what's called an affiliate program. And if I have an item in there, say, a, call it a $4 item. If I have a $4 item in there and you click on that $4 item and then go and buy some other stuff, I'll get a commission for all the stuff you buy. Won't cost you a thing. Your experience on Amazon would be no different than it currently is. It's just because I drove you to the channel, then they reward me for bringing you there and it helps the channel out a little bit. So just, I haven't mentioned that on this channel. Some of you that follow the other channel have probably heard it several times, still true. And I never knew, welcome any new subscribers that's coming to this channel, much appreciated. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to, I've, I've slowed down a little bit and I was putting out like three videos a week on the main channel, but then I've, the season's starting to drop off for boating and whatnot. So I'm trying to do at least every Sunday. My goal, my goal is one of the two channels and most generally both, I'll be dropping a video at 6 a.m. on Sunday mornings. So when you wake up on Sunday mornings, you can get a little RM3D or RMD creations, you know, while you're drinking your coffee and before you, you know, heading off to church uh, or heading off to golf or heading to the ball game or anything else you want to do. Hopefully, what I do inspires, motivates, gets you up and moving because there again, myself, a minimum one hour every day toward my projects, toward the channel, toward it's usually about 20 averages, 20 plus hours a week that I spend working on stuff that I need to do, want to do, love to do. And I just, the benefit is I get to make a video of it, share it with you guys. It might spark an idea for you guys to do something that you haven't done or thought about doing and was nervous about doing it. And you see me do it and it's like, well, I can do that. That's what a lot of people do. They, it gives them courage to do some of the things uh, that they're maybe a little timid about doing. Now there's a lot of you craftsmen out there that watch me and you're shaking your head. I get that too. I'm not a woodworker, but I made something out of wood. It cost me a box of self-tapping screws, $6.99. That's my time and $6.99 worth of the screws. And I've got this apparatus. So don't pass up scrap that you find or things that people are getting rid of. You may not have a use for it. And if you don't have the place to store it, that's unfortunate. But I have a little bit of room here where I can throw some stuff underneath some shelter and keep it for a day or two or a year or two. And then I was like, I'll walk by because I do that every now and then. I walk through and I'm like, ooh, I forgot I had that. I can make this out of that now. And that's what I'll do. And but I will purge. I will make this. You've seen it on this channel. I'll make a scrap run. When it's time to get rid of stuff, I've had it too long, and it's like, okay, this needs to leave so more stuff can fit in. That's what I'll do. Alrighty, let's put this back over here in a good safe area and open up this space for more activities. Golly, it's gonna be fun. Weld that up. I gotta fix that, weld that up and take it back to a person. That's some money. Uh, put tires on, yep, we'll do that, get my one of my boat trailers back in good shape that had a tire blowout. My gosh, that video, you've, by now you've already seen it. Uh, it was a very small leak on the side of a trailer tire. When I mean small, it exploded sometime. Don't know when it happened, but for it to do what it did, it had to explode while it was just sitting still. That could have easily happened on the road, and that's why I try to take a spare tire with me when I'm going out with the, to rescue something that has wheels on it. All righty. Enough jabbering. This is Michael saying, if it ain't broke, fix it till it is. And we'll see you on the next video. And take care of each other and be kind. And 
That's all I got to say about that. I'm out. Hey, Mr. Kitty, what you doing? Checking in here for mice? There's no new mice on this brand new apparatus here. Are you checking it out? Is it, is it a good spot? Is it a good spot, huh? There you are. There you are. Yeah. Yeah, talk to me. Yeah, talk to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See? There you are, buddy. You want me to pick you up? All right. We got you. Oh, a little nervous. A little nervous. A little ner it's, okay. it's okay. Oh, you knocked my mic off. That was just mean. Whoa. My brand new mic in you. D Mike the Michael. All right, not a cuddler. Duly noted. Now, how am I going to get this around my apparatus here and back in? Yep. It's going to take a minute here. Go do something. Please. Thanks for watching, though.